It's working. It's working. It's been working, I just didn't hear it. It's so quiet. Wow. Glad I didn't experience that in the real world. I think I blew the board. I think I killed the board. How's it going guys? So what we have here is the EXN. Great wheel, <clears throat> great battery capacity with 2700 watt hours. Um, so one of the main complaints I had about this wheel is how it overheats. It overheats quite easily. Um, I know not many people ride their wheels really hard, but even they complain about the wheel overheating at times. For me, it overheats probably within the first six, sometimes within the first three miles, depending on what the temperature is outside. And I just want to find a way to rectify that. One way to rectify that um, that was suggested to me was taking out the black box. I did take it out and it made maybe a three mile difference. So within six miles, it starts overheating. Um, so this fan right here does not seem to do anything. Uh, if you look, it's placed pretty much right next to where the fins are for the um, heat sink and I don't understand why this thing is here it's cool that they have it but I don't understand why it's there so I've decided to repurpose the black cover so this is the black cover and what I've decided to do was cut two holes on the top and um, I might have to replace but I might have to reposition this because I'm not sure how far up the shell comes um, to this board. So if you look, I've added probably half an inch um, with these fans. I tried to get a thin fan as possible. This is 12 volts. And what I've decided to do was take the 12 volts from here, because I believe this is 12 volts as well. Um, if you look, yep, it's 12 volts. And uh, yeah, so I've decided to use this uh, cable in order to power this fan. Obviously it's not enough power to drive these two fans because together they're 24 volts unless I did it in parallel. But um, I plan on doing it in series. And what I've decided to do was include or add this voltage regulator. This is a step up voltage regulator. So 12 volts will turn into 24 volts or whatever I want. I don't intend on running this hot, so um, I will keep it at 24 volts. So the goal is to put this thing right back where I got it and hopefully that will cause it to run cooler but I'm already seeing an issue where that this fan might be a little too high. Let's just give it a shot see what happens. All right so we got some success. Um, the fan did not work being on the outside so I have to, you know, reposition it, put it on the inside. But now I have an issue where um, I have at least maybe four millimeters um, of space between the screw and the bed, you know, the floor. So um, I'm gonna have to figure that out. Plus these screws are sticking out because it's experimental. I'll have to cut it because otherwise the shell won't fit. So the whole point now is to make sure the shell fits. But now let me test to see if this fan actually works. So what I have to try to do is get it to trigger the fan and hopefully the power will turn on. If I do, this fan never turns on when you want it to turn on. But when you're, let's see. Come on, fan. I'm trying to rock it back and forth to get it hot. All right, guys. So let's try to trigger this this thing. I can't put the case on, so can't ride it. Have to try to trigger it. Hard to trigger. 
trigger. This is not going to trigger. It's only 101 degree right now. I need it to go a little bit higher. I think I know how to make this go up. spinning yes it's working oh wow it's working it's working it's been working I just didn't hear it it's so quiet let's turn off the AC wow I can't even hear it that is quiet <laughs> all right so let me let me keep going see how far it'll go this is awesome. I'm gonna keep the AC off because I feel the AC is preventing it from heating up as much as I want, so. Oh crap. Ah! Continue this test tomorrow. It's not going up. The temperature's not going up. See? Temperature is 133 right now. It won't go up any further. Wow, interesting. Now, the issue I'm having now is putting the case back on the cover. That's the hardest part. This thing is already as thin as anyone would want it to be. But it looks like the GOAT, when they design their stuff, they design with efficiency in mind because there's no space wasted here. And I'm having trouble putting this on because there's a gap down there. Plus, I have to get rid of these. Well, anyway, this is an experiment. Um, if I designed this, like a 3D printed this, it'd be different. I would just pop the fans in instead of screwing it on. But yeah, fan is going. <laughs> this is awesome. When is it gonna stop though? <clears throat> but it's quiet, that's what I love about it. So quiet right now. Let me see. Well, I gotta take this off. So, there you go, guys. I hope I can get this done. Anyway, good night. See you guys. Keep you posted. Okay. So I made some minor modifications. If you can see, this black cable right here was hanging out over here. I had to put it underneath this uh, grouping of wires. And I cut some of the um, insulation on top of this because it kept getting in the way of the fan. But now I'm just putting some epoxy on this side so I can remove these um, screws because they're protruding on the other side and that's getting in the way of the case being able to fit snugly so alright let's see what's up alright so it looks like we might be able to fit the shell on this thing after all hopefully <laughs> so I took out the screws this is epoxied in. What I do is I just test to see if this thing spins freely. This one looks like it spins freely, I don't know. This one's more freer than that one though. Yeah. yeah, this one's definitely much freer than that one. Maybe if I, I don't know how to use that, but 
let's just uh, close it up and see what happens. So first things first guys, whenever you decide to work on your wheel, always disconnect and hold down the power. Okay, once you hold down the power that this charges all of the capacitors, so there's no lingering power, there's no residual power, okay, which would short your board. So just keep that in mind. Also, when you turn it back on, I'm not sure if this is specific to the EXN only, but when you turn it back on, you gotta hold onto the power button for a bit. All right. All right, so it looks like I was able to fit it on. Wow, looks great. No gaps or anything. Looks fantastic. Now we just gotta put that pedal on and see what's up. Actually, let me turn this on. Great, so it's on, we're good. Let's put the pedal on now. All right, let's see if we can get this up to temperature and then I'll go to bed. Almost there. Ooh. Wow. Huh. Wow, I think I may have blown the board. Uh oh. Oh boy, glad I didn't experience that in the real world. I think I blew the board. Oh boy. Huh, I am glad I did not test this out in the wild. Oh boy. Huh. Great. Anyway. <sighs> yep, I think I killed the board. <sighs> yeah. I think I killed the board. Because it's supposed to say, you know, temperature too high, right? But I got up to 153 degrees Fahrenheit. And the thing literally just cut out. Ooh, no good. So the first thing I'm noticing is the heat sink is hot, very hot. Um, maybe that's what the fan was cooling down, was the heat sink. Second, capacitor is fine. Well, it looks fine. I don't know if it is fine. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope. Capacitor is blown. See that black piece right here? Yep. Capacitor is blown. This one is fine. It reminds me of what I did to my MSP. That's exactly what happened to my high-speed MSP. Oh, man. Now, when I power it on, there's no light. No light of any kind. Usually, there's like a light. But yeah, this capacitor is blown yeah this capacitor is blown yep it's exactly what happened to my high-speed MSP Wow all right oh Oh boy. Okay, so it looks like the capacitor is dead after all. That's good because it's just the capacitor. But the way I find that out is by using this meter, this multimeter. 
Okay, so when I connect them together, that means that's a short. <coughs> well, it'll say, let me see. Okay, zero volts. Okay. So there we go. Zero volts. But if I do this capacitor, <coughs> 